important day of my life so far. Everything's been leading up to this. Adam Sea Fest. Now, years ago, I started my YouTube channel and I filmed car meets. I loved car meets. I went to car meets with my dad when I was a kid and that was all I enjoyed. And I used to film them, I used to take pictures and that was what my YouTube channel was based on. And with that, I bought my first car, my MGB. And after my MG, I bought my TVR wedge because my dad had one as a kid and I loved it. So that was my next car. Then I part exchanged it for my dream car, the Cobra. After then, I bought an RX-8 which was a mistake and then I bought the 350Z which I have wrapped bright yellow for this event and this is what everything has been leading up to years of doing YouTube filming car meets we've got so many cars thousands of people attending it's gonna be an enjoyable day it's gonna be spectacular and unlike anything I've seen before so we're at Wilson Mill Casting here and I've hosted this with the Petrol Hedonism Club we have the top 25 section the friends of Adam C section which is my favorite section there's a great variety of cars and right at the front, a white chaser, because everyone loves a white chaser. They've come to see me and they've seen the cars as well. So we have various sections to look at, starting off with a classic and retro section, starting with a Beetle with some flowers on the bonnet, and we have an MGB GT. We've got a few MGBs and Cobras that you might have seen. Oh, the car has fallen over. Does that touch? Yeah, it's on the floor. Yeah. Well, there you go. We've got all the variety here today. This vehicle is called Eileen. And also, let's play a game of what's inside your car because inside this we have a Mercedes two and a half litre five cylinder diesel with a turbo. Why is it called Eileen? Because it leans? We have even a Volkswagen Beetle RSI next door to a Metro that's had the 6R4 conversion. How about that? Mid-engine as well. It's got the Ford V6 Duratec, I believe. That looks what it looks like. And look, a Dax Cobra. The other Cobra has since left, unfortunately. We have a Porsche 924. We've got a few Westfield and even a British Racing Green Classic Mini. We have a Stag and a Fiesta and a Ford Escort Mark II as well. Another MGV. The Carver is going back up again but how about this for the juxtaposition we've got America versus Britain Britain's a bit smaller than America rather suitably and Ollie and David are checking out the hot rod that they're just massive this isn't small they're just really tall people but one of the sections we've got is the JDM section we've got the Spoon Sports Civic Coupe parks alongside the RX-8 the Glanza and the Subaru and then the off-roading diesel Toyota Supra we've seen this a lot recently fantastic to see it at my show with a turbo out the bonnet of parked alongside a whole bunch of Japanese cars. We've got stuff like the Accords Estate car that's been turned into a track car next to an MX-5, one of many here today, another Subaru. Can I interest you in a beautiful white chaser? You can interest me in a beautiful white chaser because everyone, everyone here, you see? Literally everyone. Everyone loves the white chaser. Woo! Viking views. <laughs> this is the first time we've met. Those who know will know. Story. They're not Adam C. I'm, I'm not Adam C. C. I'm Adam 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 C. Adam C. We have another Adam C. <laughs> Are you Adam C? We're all Adam C. Oh, we're all Adam C. But you've got a white chaser. We do. I don't have a white chaser. No. I need a white chaser, guys. Flipping. Next year's Adam C Fest is going to be big, and that's going to get me the white chaser. Yeah, By man. then, there'll be 50 grand, though. So. Oh, tell me about it. <laughs> I know. It. This is the one to have, though. Yeah. Got a bit on it. It's open if you'd like to have oh, it. Let's, let's have a look. <laughs> this is like the pearl creamy the white. Pearl yes, yes, yeah. Because there's three different shades of white, I believe. Oh, very JDM 90s interior. Let's have a seat. Is that real carbon fibre? 
Oh. It's real carbon fiber effect. Yeah. yeah, it is a real carbon effect. Do I need to dip the clutch? Oh, it's not got a clutch. Oh. It's a factory 1J though. It is factory 1J. It's cold, I wouldn't want to rev it. That's all right. Little... See? Everyone loves the white chaser. Look. I need. Oh, some Japanese ladies yeah, talking oh, yeah. to me. What's her name? Suki. You can name her if you like. Um, Mary. Mary. Oh, let's give a proper rev. It warms up between me doing it and... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look, honestly, everyone loves the white chaser. It's what I've been saying the whole time. Everybody it's everyone's favourite, one of the Focus SG is everyone's favourite car, but everyone yeah, loves the white chaser. So that was Viking Views in their white chaser, and we're all about to be run over by a Camaro. You see, look, all these people love it. They love the white chaser. We have got an R34 four-door next to it, which is kind of Nissan's version of the chaser. There you go, the Camaro passing through. You see, people are leaving already. Very early, it's, well, just gone one. So we have mixtures of Mitsubishi Evos. We've got Lexus ISs, S13s, S14s, quite a few S bodies. We've got an S14 here, S15 here, a Zenki S14 over there, a 350Z, of course, next to a dark green Toyota Tracer. I haven't counted how many there are, but there are quite a few, all JZX100. In fact, there's a white one over there next to the EP3, more Civic Type R. Even an aero deck. There we go. I love it. I, I do like an estate car. Another 350Z, a 370Z, Subaru Evo MX-5. Ah, let's have a look at that Subaru down there. Before we do, yellow Subaru, loving the yellow 350Z MR2. I'm trying to film as many of the cars that have come here. This was a contender for the top 25, which we shall see later, unless they all leave in the time that I've looked around. We've got some micro content going on. They're checking out the bonnet. And here is the Subaru I wanted to look at. A Hawkeye, two tones. We've got the blue wrap and the satin grey. Is that a super? The Kia's windscreen does not look visible. However, look, another chaser. This one's brown. It's got all kinds of stuff going on. Large spoiler on the back. Everyone loves a white chaser, but look, they're loving the brown one too. But further around, we can't miss the Tommy Caro R33. Very rare car. Got an R32 GTR, R35 GTR, GR Yaris. But the JDM section that we are looking at is probably the most crowded section, as you can see. JDM cars get a lot of attention. Another R34 Ford all behind the crowd. In fact, there's another one here. There was meant to be another one on the top 25 section. He couldn't make it, but we have a Z4. How did he get in? I joke, it's a Mark 5 Super. We know it's got BMW internals. We don't need to mention it, but look at this standard 200SX S13. This car's actually owned by Yoda, but he doesn't want people to know, so shh. I'll tell you why he's part of there. This is the secret club, so shh, just don't tell anyone. But they're here. But behind me now, we have one of the Ultimate JDM machines and a group of people around the Ultimate JDM machine. We have the Bayside Blue R34 GTR. Take a look at this though. It's got white wheels. I bet they were hard to clean this morning. Purple GTR and a individual coloured GTR. And, and I'll just show you what's in the glove box of this GTR. Oh, glove box. I thought you meant it had an engine swap we're or something. I'm not sure what it is. What do you think was in it? It's come from Japan with this in oh, I was going to say, is it something weird in Japanese? No, no. What do you think that is? We're not sure what it is. It looks like a hydraulic something control, air like suspension or air ride yeah. control. But of course we have people displaying their engines and the power outputs, what we got. Just under 550 horsepower on the dyno readout for the R33. As next door we have an R33 GTR in midnight purple. There's a bit of a race going on down there. What well, chase? Don't know what they're doing. There is some quality Evo content here. Again, white wheels, hard to keep clean, but I appreciate them. R33, 350Z with the Veil side kit. Take a look at those wide arches. And then the wide arched Igo. But the final section from Japan at Adam Seafest. If I climb up this bank and almost fall over, we have a great variety. And you can see the rest of the show. It's more condensed over there. I'm trying to film as many as I can so you can get an idea as to how many cars are here. But let's go see what else we can can find whilst the music's quiet because there's a loss. So to my left we have a BMW section. You can tell because they've been Revving their engines quite a lot. Apparently there's some flames as well. I can hear some flames. Yeah, that's the one. Let's begin the revolution competition. Go! So we've got the M6 E36, a turbocharged or maybe supercharged E39 M5. Take a listen to that. Oh yes! Oh. 
Pops from the F-18. But what are you looking for? I like the her top match in the car. Go up there, the flames. Yeah, people are running over for the content. Um, we're right at the top of the field now. I say field. The, the karting track. We love you, Adam Shea. Thank you. The beauty of the track, though, is we get to park cars on rumble strips. How cool does that look? But we're now leaving the BMWs behind because we are entering the Carduzio supercar enclosure. So Carduzio wraps by 350Z and they are hosting the supercars at the show. We've got things like a TVR server and a Noble M12 and a Ferrari 348 on display. And take a look at this. This is a Contera MD1. It's a three-seater with a central driving position. And one of my favourite cars, we've got the Series 1 Lotus Elise in blue. I had a Matchbox toy just like that. We've got the Boxer, the F-Type, the 996. We have the Avora and a pair, well no, three Aventadors. The Petrol Hedonism UFO Bull next to an SVJ and an SV. And then the AMG GT on the end. So there are the Aventadors, some of the most ultimate supercars that are here. We've got a McLaren, a Ferrari 4 for there's a TVR Tuscan over there, a Corvette C7, there's the petrol hedonism Cayman, we've got another TVR server, another 996, and then further around from the Cayman, as the BMWs are still revving for the crowd, we've got an ultimate GTR, one of the ultimate cars that has turned up. Now, whilst there's revs over there, we've got a Ford section, should we go... Let's go have a look at the Fords. So as we venture down to the Ford section, we've got a bit of an oddball section, an Aerial Assam, a Cayman, a Seat Leon. We've got the Chrome wrap on the Me Too. We've got a new wrap on this Audi. That's just been done. RS4 next to an RS6. And then this Bentley Continental GT. And they've somehow put this Audi TT body on. Of course, that's a lie. It's a TT with Bentley wheels. But next door to that, we've got the slammed Audi, R32 Golf, a whole lineup of cars. But most importantly, everyone loves a green tractor. It's not even a tractor. It's a per with brave wheels and this as an exhaust. We've got some revolutions behind us from the Peugeot. However, up here, the crowd's coming over now. We've got a Jaguar XK, Jack Daniels livery. How about that? A sparkly dashboard next to Coca-Cola Zero. Which drink would you have? I'd go, I'd go for Coke. I prefer Coke to Jack Daniels, but I approve of that livery. We've got the McGann, we've got the Bath, and... This GTR, this was part of the top 25 section. This is a full carbon bodied Nissan GTR. It's a wide body as well, and he is leading early. Look at the crowd! What's going on? Right, well, I guess he's leaving. Oh, he's got one of those cameras on the back. No flames though, but check out the people following. But after that bit of momentary chaos, um, there's quite a few noises going on in the background. We have the Tic Tacs. We've got Mark II Focus RSs and STs, mostly STs. They all came in together, all the orange cars. So many colours on this lawn. These are the Fords. Oh, we've got an Audi RS4 revving now. So the revolution competitions are spreading like a... Whilst I wanted to film all of the 4s in this section, the RS4 is popping nicely. It may even be flames. The crowd suggested it might be. Well, it's quite smoky. We've got the green RS2 next to it as well. We've got more 4. Oh my. Some, let's go over there. This sounds like the 1JZ Lexus Estate. So he's been popping some flames and everyone's running for that. So we've got the Pontiac GTO, which is basically a Monaro. 300C, we've got a Jag, one of a few Jags, a Bentley, and a teddy bear. Let's hope he doesn't close the roof. Who's revving? I want the 1J to do some more noise. Oh, we the I got what I wanted. To protect my ears, I'm going to shy away from that. We've got a big crowd of people. Well, they're thinking it's a chaser because it's got a chaser engine and everyone loves a white chaser, so everyone's coming over to what they think's a white chaser, but it's actually the Lexus. There we are. <laughs> oh, there's so much to see, so much to do. This pen over here, this area, is for a variety of cars. There's no one section. So there's a Polo GTI revving. Oh, revolution. 
Russians from the Polo. Let's go into the pen. This Skoda is a bit of a smoky boy. Lots of diesel Skodas on the scene. VX220, that's nice. The Clio's got its max power bonnet. Revving for the camera. A V6 in the day room it is. How about that? That's been shoehorned in. 850R, there we go, next to the Golf. How about that? A bit of a retro section once again. E36, the Rover. Up GCI, what's up GCI? The Saab and the Vauxhall are going to provide some revolutions. Oh, Yoda's following me. A dirty diesel. There we go. Welcome to the paddock. It's quite a rare Mitsubishi over there. Subaru, got an FTO and the I-20N. Revolutions. We got some barges. We got the LS430, the 720, and the 760. You can see the difference between the facelift and the pre-facelift rear lights there. Ah, well, whilst the revs continue, how about this? A Volvo hearse with flames. That is dedication. Oh look, for the Queen's Jubilee, they've got a corpse, which isn't Arnie Liz, but we're celebrating with Union Jack. So I can hear flames. I think the MX-5 is shooting flames, and that's why the crowd is gathered. Oh, maybe the Persia. One of the two. Well, noises from the BMW. This whole section is having a massive revolution competition. And it's great, we got an EP3 over here, Civic Type R. Bam, 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 bam. Where are we heading? Where are we heading? E30, Cabriolet, your boss popping. Three MX-5s in red, Mark 1. He's cheeky MX-5 over there. This is a great summary of what I do, just running around car shows, chatting about what's going on, and then everyone starts revving. It's the Mad Hatter on the bonnet of the Mini. How about that? That is a BBC case series, mate. But we're now in the far corner of the show, and more revolutions. MX-5s, Subaru, the Mark III Supra, the Golf, and the sleepy Clio is revving. We've got the Brave Wheels, Fiesta, all sorts. Ah, that is quite a funky looking Metro there. The Mazda 6 is providing more revolutions, limiter bashing. And have a look at this pair of cheeky MX-5s. He's winking one way, he's winking the other way. Got the Polo bread van with an interesting roof. It's the Polo twist. And as we can see, skulls. When we talk about brave wheels, we've got the brave high-vis color on the Glanzer as well. And even a Renault Clio V6. We've got the Jeep Renegade with its angry headlights, the BRZ. There's even a camper down there. There's the Little Tykes Cozy Coupe. And I think somewhere on the wing, we have... Oh look, it's me! But we are heading around to the top 25 section. So I actually picked 28 cars for the top 25, the Friends of Adam C section. It's a good hand-picked section. I hope they're all there. But first, we have an S13. It's that pretty nicely in cherry red next to the Celica. And over there, we have the Stig. I wonder what car he's got. Stig! 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 There's a Suzuki Cappuccino. Do you reckon he drives? I don't think... Oh, he's seen us. Poor Stig, he doesn't know what's going on. He looks lost. I'll tell you what it is. The karting's all booked, and there's no more spaces available for karting, so Stiggy Boy can't actually drive anything today. He just has to look at the cars revving. That's a shame. So later today, I'm going to be karting, and the people who win each session of karting on the small circuit get to race against me, and the winner wins an award from Auto Finesse. Auto Finesse have supplied all the awards, and I need to pick the car of the show, the best wheels of the show, the best British car of the show, the Jubilee Special, best Japanese car of the show, best classic, best modified. Let's have a look at the Friends of Adam C section. Let's go down the grid. We've parked them up on the main grid. It's a spectacle. So, welcome to the Adam C Top 25. They're so good, there's actually 28 cars. These are the Friends of Adam C. And we start off with a white chaser, because everyone loves a white chaser. Yeah, that's the one. Everyone loves a white chaser. That's the one. We've got a Porsche 993 with new roof wheels and RS body kit. We've got an S14 drift car. We have a R32 GTR next to it as well. And then the Rice Civic behind the crowd. It's come all the way from the Isle of Wight. Take a look at that. It's quite a squeeze in here. Further down the grid, we have this beautifully clean Mark 1 Golf. Take a look at that engine bay. So I asked all of these people to apply on my Instagram. So we've got this 
Bridgeport RX-7 next along the grid. And now we have GT Zigzolli's Triumph GC6. You may remember this from old videos. He is celebrating the Platinum Jubilee with his new Le Mans roundels. We're going to Le Mans Classic this year, so we're getting ready for that. And a car from a recent video of mine that got great feedback, a Mitsubishi Eclipse with Time Attack body kit and spoiler. This is a car that we don't get to see, and I've brought it along to Adam Seafest, the top 25. Ah, here's the other 350s that I was talking about. Take a look at that. It sounded very boosted when it came in. And adding to the variety, we have a 71 Pontiac Le Mans. It's the variety show. That's what I love, because I love my classics. I love my JDM. I love my supercars. But you can't have American muscle without a hot rod. And that is exactly what we have, the 34 Ford Coupe. With flames down the side as well. And just beyond the Mark 1 MX-5, we had to have an MX-5 here, we've got a Nissan Juke with hydraulic suspension. You can tell because look, it's dancing, it's got a personality. A peachy coloured juke. But I call this the Friends of Adam C section. Another friend of mine, Georgie with her Mark 1 Focus RS. Very shiny and white wheels. I appreciate how hard it is to clean the white wheels and keep them clean. We've got the Mustang SV2 Cobra with the 5 litre V8. This is naturally aspirated, a very rare car and it's here on the grid as well. We've got a few other Mustangs but this one you may remember from like Gran Turismo 4. I love these. And it's a Cobra but without being a Cobra. This is more of a Cobra than my Cobra is because mine's a Dax Tegero. And next along we have this Ford Orion with its scale electric setup in the boot. Now this car wasn't the top 25, it snuck on, it's the petrol head and Mercedes. We've got my dad's Jaguar XKR convertible that's parked up. I mean, they're more than just friends, the family to quote Vin Diesel, but here we have the Jag. Unfortunately the Noble isn't here because they were out in this, but the Noble's here in spirits because look, oh no it's, wait, there, 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 there it is. I hope the alarm doesn't go off. And finally, on the physical grid of the grid, we have the Harlequin Volkswagen Lupo with Ferrari wheels. Or maybe it is just a Ferrari with a Lupo. It's a Ferrari with a Lupo body kit. That's what it is. We're learning today. We've got the green, the yellow, the red, and the blue. Even a little, like, lunchbox that's locked. Look, at the sunglasses are brave, the steering wheel's colourful, even the phone mount. There you go. But we couldn't fit 25 cars, or 28 cars, on the physical grid, so we've parked them on the grass by the grid. That is still the Friends of Adam C section. We've got to have a Supra. And is, is that a Supra? I think that is a Supra. Is that a Supra? We've got the carbon fibre Mark IV Supra. I actually had a poll asking people which Supra they wanted, and this is the one that won the poll. And this one is an Aerotop, and it's automatic. I was fools. It looks like a manual gear stick. Look. That is cheek. Is it turboed? It's turboed! But whilst I'd love to spend the whole day with the Super that tricked me into thinking it was manual, instead we have a Series 2 Lotus Exige. A good friend of mine has just bought this car and how fitting to have it in the Friends of Adam C section. And adding to the variety, we have an early Toyota Celica. How often do you see these? And it is twinned with the rear end of Gromit. And I had to pick a Subaru for the lineup, so I picked a minty Subaru to add to the colour combo. It's got wide arches and obviously a minty colour parked next to the car calendar selection of cars. So we've got their 570S and their Porsche Cayman as well. And that is the Friends of Adam C section minus the carbon GTR that was revving for us earlier because he had to get back to watch the Queen talk. So this really is a whistle stop tour because I'm not only here to film, I'm here as a host as well. And it takes up so much time. We've been planning this for a year with Petrol Hedonism and all of our sponsors <laughs> A big thanks to everyone who's come. There's a whole section that I haven't seen. There's a spectator field. I don't know if I have time to see. We've got a little American section here that I didn't see earlier. We've got the Corvette C5, We've got a Mustang. That's a Camaro. We've got a Camaro and a lineup of Mustangs in various different colours. But behind that, the Volkswagen Caddies have joined. So these three Caddies don't look very much like Caddies. They must have some kind of camouflage wrap on them so they look nothing like caddies, but I, I assure you they are caddies. Um, the rest look more like traditional caddies, and there are quite a few of them. Oh look, there's another one that's 
been changed. So this is the Caddy Collective and they are a club in itself. We don't have too many clubs here because we didn't want to complicate it but the Caddy Collective was so keen on coming that we've given them a section just beyond the Friends of Adam C section. Now I need to have a look around the show and decide my winners and then get my helmet on, my driving shoes on and beat everyone at karting because there's also a prize for the fastest carter and I want some more finesse goodies for myself. Oh it's tricky, it's tricky picking picking the best in show. That's that's the one. What do you think the best in show was? It can't be the 350Z because he's leaving as much as it sounds nice. There you go. Also finesse have provided some goodie bags for the winners of the prizes which Shura is modeling for us now. So I know nothing about wheels. <laughs> Which is a great opener to the, to the award thing. They're basically like a car's shoes, and I don't really pay attention to people's shoes either. So I had to specifically go around the show and look at wheels. So I don't actually know what wheels they're called. And I really hope the car is still here. We have a Midnight Purple 350Z. Yes, is that, is that you? Oh, well done. It's right here. It's right here. No, congratulations. Best classic. The name of the vehicle is Eileen. Congratulations. Well done, man of applause. Best modified. It's the right Civic. Right at the front of the top 25 section. Congratulations, round of applause, please. Let's go and dare to be different. Ooh. The diesel Toyota Supra. Best British. This is a British car, but with an American heart, so a bit controversial. It's the Ultima GTR. I had a feeling yes. it would be the Ultima. Best Japanese. Okay. Oh I know what you might choose as your favourite car, and I know the colour, and there's a few of them, because everyone loves the white chase, and the white chase at the front of the top 25 is my best Japanese car on the show, because everyone loves the white chaser. Congratulations, the best car in show. Congratulations to the Mitsubishi Eclipse. Time is back. Praise the Lord. That is the car of the show for me. Well done. Right, we've got something special happening now. I want you to make your way back to the cars, because that's for celebrating the Queen's Jubilee, we're going to play the National Anthem. And then, when I say so, Adam is going to lead you all in a rev off for the Queen's Jubilee, which will be fantastic for the cameras. Should we decide which of my cars I use from a, from a round of applause perspective? Well, okay, okay, who thinks the MGB should take part? Yes! Thank you, thank you everyone. <laughs> um, what about the, the City Lowell's 350Z? Fewer, fewer people. Um, what about the blue one? Yeah. Oh, we're gonna start revving! We got revs! Oh! Flames! We got flames! Yeah, it's flaming out that side. So, we've got a revolution competition. I want to see this. Let's go, let's go see it. I've left my cars running. Okay, stuff. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Let's do it. so I know that they're all here. So let's try not to crowd the cars. This might be a thumbnail. So if we get back a little bit more, there's a lot of people. So here we are, making a thumbnail. We've got a drone above. This is the conclusion. Oh no, it's not. We've got karting in five minutes. Oh! 
So all the people I'm carting with have carted before today. I've carted here before, but not today. These are my excuses, by the way. And I'm meant to be beating all of you. We've got a drifter. I'm going against no drifting. It's slow. Yeah, I'm not going to win. I feel like I've run a marathon after all that as well. These are my driving excuses when I don't win. You can see the riding on the pavement. Your kids are growing up in basements. I'm riding a whole new generation. I'm a main man, so you better go. Oh, That's much slower than last time. I just saw my time. It's 33.5. What? Yeah, uh, was it 32 something? 32.2. 32.2. Oh, there we go. 32.2 last time I was. Go absolutely wild, ladies and gents. The winner with a really respectable 32.793. Louis, where are you? Woo! Big round of applause to all our winners. Woo! So, I don't know how much you could tell by that, but this time around, I didn't win. I could give you a bunch of excuses like, my time was way down from last time, I think I came fifth. Actually, no, I broke a cast again, so I came dead last. And now, we have rain and no more cars, so that was Adam Seafest with Petrol Hedonism. Cherry is heading out in the Huber Design of Entador, and oh, I had such a great day. I spent most of the time just talking to people, having a great time. I barely ate, I barely drank, I barely sat down. I'm gonna flop today. Uh, the Cobra has actually already left, so that's on its way home. So to the Point Transport, thank you once again for taking the cars up here. I'm gonna drive the MG, Chloe's gonna drive the 350 once she's sobered up tomorrow. Oh, I am knackered. So, that's what it's like hosting my own car show. It's been nine and a half to ten years I've been doing this for, and it's all led up to this moment. But next year, we'll be bigger and better and back once again with another Adam Seafest. So I will see you all there. So follow me on Instagram for the updates and posts about what I do, including shows now, as well as films from shows. But thanks to Carcanda, Carduzio, and Auto Finesse for helping out with the event. So I hope you enjoyed the video. But for now, thanks for watching. You thought the video was over. It's not. This deserves a special mention. I think it's the C-Max. We have flames and look, even Goodyear tire lighting like the Cobra. Check this out though. All the way from Amazon Prime, a spoiler on the back. It's a Ford, no it's not, it's a Hennessy. Wow, I didn't know they did C-Max. A Hennessy C-Max Nismo Type R M Supra. I think it's the Mark V, no, six, yes. Special edition. It's, it's fantastic.